Hi guys, this is Adam and welcome to a second part of tutorial in how to display YouTube videos in ASP.NET MVC application. Uh, so first of all, let's create a new application. Go to File, New, Project, uh, ASP MVC 4, actually free. Uh, from next tutorials I will be trying to um, use MVC 4 because this is up to date, uh, the newest framework. So uh, I will be trying to get out from using MVC 3 or MVC 2. So let's call it MV, uh, let's call it um, YouTube YouTube videos. Okay. Uh, internet application using Razor HTML5 semantic markup. That's okay. We don't really have to worry about unit test project at the moment. So let's click OK. Now we have to download a few libraries from YouTube. Um, so the best way to do it and the fastest and the easiest way is by uh, our package manager. Uh, if you watch a few of my previous tutorials you will see what I'm talking about. Um, so let's go to tools and library package manager package management console and let's type install hyphen package which is default um, default syntax for installation for installing any new package and let's type google dot g data dot client so that's our first package let's wait a couple of seconds okay that's the first package that we have that we have installed and now the second one install install package Google dot G data dot YouTube and we supposed to install the Google dot G data dot extension as well, but as you can see, uh, this package was already included in uh, in Google dot G data dot YouTube, so we don't have really have to worry about installing this package. Um, okay, so if we are going to open the references, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, Google stuff added. Well, actually, free uh, free uh, libraries that we are interested in. So gdata.client, gdata.extension, gdata.youtube. And the next thing, uh, we have to create a new unique YouTube developer ID. Alright, now we have to obtain the YouTube um, developer ID. So the best way to do it is to go to this website. And because I was already already um, logged into my Google account, um, you will probably see the login uh, login account um, login panel. So we have to type your Google account. If you don't have Google account, it's really easy to create a new one. And as you can see, you can you can have you can copy this developer key over here. Um, so we will start our next tutorial from uh, creating a YouTube helper class and we will be storing this developer key inside our class so and it, every time we want to um, create a new request to YouTube we will have to uh, give this developer key so thanks for watching and see you on the next tutorial